today we make a uh, press conference here, yeah, big press conference. So a lot of people come, like almost six, seven thousand people. And uh, it was very hard day today, but we enjoy, you know, enjoy this process. Everything is good. Very soon I'm gonna come to USA, to California, and beginning my training camp. When UFC give me fight, I'm gonna come to California and. Uh, I'm gonna stay there in AKA with my family nine weeks before fight and uh, I'm going to defend my title inshallah this year. This year I wanna defend my title. About opponents, I don't know to be honest. I don't know. But UFC working on fight, me versus Connor. And, uh, if they give Connor, I'm gonna fight. If they give different opponents, GSP or winner Alvarez versus Poirier. Doesn't matter, let's go. I want George to fight Mayweather. I keep bothering George. You fight Mayweather. You fight him. He's like, it's crazy. I know it's crazy. But I bet Mayweather would do it. That's shit. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But George might have to lose a shitload of weight. Yeah, they'll find a catch weight. Do you think Mayweather is worried that he's going to get concussed? He's fought all the top punchers in the world. Right. He's just going to have to worry about George's volume and reach. But he can handle himself, and George can handle himself. But the whole world is going to tune into that one. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm like you, George. You're selling it. Look yeah, you, man. I'm like it. George, do it, man. Do it. But George doesn't want to fight a smaller guy. He doesn't want to call out a smaller guy. So uh, it's gonna have to come from Mayweather. It's gonna have to wow. come from him. Wow. There's another big money fight. Yep. But is it a bit as big a money fight? That's the thing. The real big money fight is in somehow or another, McGregor convincing the world that he could beat him in a second fight. Apparently, a not very successful mm. UFC event. UFC 225, I believe, less than 150,000 pay-per-view buys. Well, well, wow. th th well, that is the report. The report that is doing the rounds on a lot of the websites, and I'll tell you this right now, these websites don't get it right, but, well, I'm sure some of the times they do. But, um, yeah, the reports are less than 150,000 pay-per-view buys for UFC 225, which is surprising. Pardon me, that uh, carbonated drink is making me burp. Um, two title fights, stats card, Holly Holm, big name for the women's division, CM, CM Punk. Punk. In Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that what is surprising. What is going on here? Now, UFC attorney came out and said that that figure is off, and he said by at least six figures. So by saying that, I would assume that that's 100,000 off. So even still, that's 250,000. That's very low. Yeah, it's, it's not a gigantic number. It's yeah. not a gigantic. And I don't know. I mean, maybe it's the time of year. Maybe people are going away on vacation. Maybe <laughs> people are more excited for Steve Miocic and uh, Thingy Bob next year. Maybe Calvin Covington isn't the draw that he thinks he is. Well, yeah, for all the shit that Kobe Covington talked, 
He's like, I'm the next fucking yeah. whatever. He, 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 he couldn't draw a picture of a pay-per-view, let alone draw a pay-per-view. He's on um, the co-main event, uh, Whitaker and Romero. That's yeah, a huge fight but, for the middleweight Yeah, division. but to be fair, and I don't understand this, Whitaker versus Romero, that didn't draw well last time either. That was 150,000 or so. So, which is insane because the first fight with Whitaker Romero was a fantastic fight. The rematch was probably even better, a lot more drama, fantastic fight back and forth. And I'll say once again, well done both guys. Well done Whitaker and still. Um, but yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know.